Hello there, I'm Andrew Smith and today is day 11 of my 40 day fitness challenge and today I just wanted to, to share um, three short insights with you. Um, now the first one is about being flexible. My, uh, As you've seen from my training program yesterday and the day before, um, on three or four days of the week I actually plan to do two training sessions. Normally one of those would occur in the morning and the second would occur in the evening. Now um, uh, Thursday is a difficult day for me. I work I work later into the evening. So what I try to do is fit in the second session around dinner time. It means the session needs to be slightly slightly shorter, but um, it's what's required in order for me to fit it into the day. So um, I was up early this morning, five thirty, and I was out on the bike at about quarter past six. Um, and I was out for an hour and 45, which enabled me to get home, get showered and get to work for nine o'clock. Um, but it, because I wasn't able to do the evening session, what I what, what I was able to do is uh, slip out of the office for um, for an hour at dinner time um, and went for a swim. It meant that the swim was shorter. But again, the way that we uh, the way that we're able to compensate for that is by doing a higher intensity swim. So I actually swam my 1500 meters in 26 minutes, which is. Uh, pretty much pretty much race pace for me. It's pretty hard going and uh, I definitely got a good workout from it even though it was only a 26 minute uh, plus a short cool down workout. Um, I guess the second thing that goes along with that and I, and I touched on it yesterday was uh, the importance of nutrition. Now when I finished my bike ride and I was home at at eight o'clock, it was really important for me to um, to take some fuel in then, so that I could be begin that recovery process in order to be able to do the second workout um, just three hours later. And it's not always convenient to have food in that in that hour window. I had to had to eat, I had to get showered, and I had to get to work and get into the classroom for my for my first lesson. So um, things like uh, recovery shakes and protein shakes are ideal. Now, I personally use products from a company called Usana, and there's some information over on my website about those and. Um, I guess as is becoming customary, I'll, I'll provide a link underneath this video if you're interested in finding out more about those. Now, um, the other insight that I wanted to share really was around commitment. And um, one of the things that has been useful in this process for me is knowing that uh, in the evening I'll be sitting down and I'll be recording a video that will potentially be seen by other people. So when I was lying in my bed, my alarm went off at 530 and your, uh, your mind starts playing tricks on you, you start talking yourself out of it. Well, I had a hard session yesterday, perhaps I should have a lie in and rest. Now, um, that, that idea of commitment and me making a commitment to you meant that as I was lying there, I was, uh, started to tick into my head instead of those negative, uh, negative thoughts, I started thinking, well, at the end of the day, I needed to shoot a video and I wanna be able to tell people that I've made progress and I wanna be able to tell people that I've stuck to my plan. Um, and it's just an additional incentive to help, to help you to get, uh, help to get yourself out of bed. Um, this is something that we read about a lot in personal development is uh, making a commitment not just to yourself but to other people. It gives you leverage, it uh, gives you additional encouragement. Other people are enrolled in, in what you're doing um, and that was one of the purposes behind me starting this 40 day, 40 day challenge and sharing um, my, my training plans and my training outcomes with you. Um, one of the other things that I do at my blog at andygsmith.com is um, review uh, personal development material. So again, what I'm going to do is provide a link under this video, first of all to the, uh, the USANA products information, but also to um, some personal development materials that will help you. And those are structured dependent on your goals. So I definitely recommend that you go have a read through. Um, there's book reviews, there's um, various different information about goal setting and planning. So uh, head on over and see if there's anything there that could, could help to move you uh, on your journey to success. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'll be in touch again tomorrow.